Hi, this is Kevin Bowersox, creator of the blog Two Thought. In today's tutorial, we are going to deviate from the theme of our previous posts, which has been Spring Data and JPA, to create a Maven archetype based upon the project we created in the Configuring Spring Data with MySQL tutorial. A Maven archetype is a template project which can quickly be used to set up another project that has pre-configurations for specific technologies, in our case Spring Data and JPA. To begin, the first thing we'll need to do is make sure that Maven is installed on your system. And I'm going to show you how to check that by entering a git bash console. And within this console, I'll simply type nvn version and I should get a response from Maven. If you did not receive a response, you will need to install Maven. Uh, if you have downloaded STS, um, it does come with Maven. And if you didn't receive a response here, it may also mean that it is not properly configured. Uh, to properly configure Maven, you will need to set your environment variable path uh, to contain the location of your Maven installs bin folder. So here you see that Apache Maven is installed uh, within Spring Source Tool Suite. And if we scroll over, you can see my it's pointing at my bin directory. So we have Spring Source Tool Suite, Apache Maven, bin. Uh, that will allow git bash or the command line if you prefer to pick up the Maven application and execute our commands. At this point, we need to prepare our project so that it be can become a Maven archetype. Uh, so I'm going to enter STS. And the first thing that I notice is that JUnit is not defined as a Maven dependency. So I'm going to enter the POM file. And I will go to the Dependencies tab. And we will add the JUnit artifact. We'll save that. The next change we'll need to make in our project is we need to remove the source test resources folder. This is a source folder I created uh, we will use in later tutorials, but we do not need it in our Maven archetype. So I'm going to remove that from my build path. We'll save. At this point we have the project prepared and we can make our archetype. So I'm going to execute the maven command maven archetype create from project and Maven will begin to create an archetype from the project that uh, we were bashed into, the Two Thought tutorial. And if we head back to STS and refresh our project, we can see that within the target directory, we now have an archetype. There are also some changes we need to make to the archetype. So within the archetype folder, there is a pom.xml file. Let's open that up and we'll take a look at the source and we need to specify a group ID. This is usually your domain name in reverse. And we need to give the artifact an ID. We should also specify a name for this archetype. and we'll just make that the same as the artifact ID. We can save that and we'll head back into the archetype and we'll just inspect some of these different configuration files. You can see there's another POM file within archetype resources. This is the actual POM file contained in the two thought tutorial package. And within the meta folder uh, in the Maven directory, 
we see there's an archetype metadata.xml. This details how the project created from our archetype will be structured. You can see the packaged attribute on the file set tag. Uh, this tells Maven to use the package provided by the user when they create a project from our archetype uh, to put these Java files within that package. So we want to make sure that's on the uh, all of the file sets that contain our Java classes. So it looks like we're properly configured in the archetype metadata fo or file. With the archetype properly configured, we can now install it into our Maven archetype catalog file. And to do that, we need to be in the archetypes directory within git bash. Uh, so we're in the archetype, and from that directory, we want to execute a maven clean install command. And we'll get a response from maven uh, at the end of this telling us that we have successfully put the archetype into our archetype catalog. Uh, we can now use this archetype to create a project that is pre-configured for us uh, for Spring Data and MySQL. Let's head to STS and we'll create a project based upon this archetype. So we'll create a new Maven project. And initially we won't see any archetypes. That's because the version of our archetype was a snapshot. So if we click the include snapshot archetypes, uh, we will see that we got the newly created archetype and we can create our project from that. Uh, so we must specify a group ID. So I'm just going to put org.example.proj in it. And we need to have an ar artifact ID. So I'm just going to call this spring data project. And we need to also specify the package we would like to use. I'm just going to adjust that to our group ID. We'll click finish. And we should get a new Spring Data project. And not seeing any errors, so we'll try to run our test. And it looks like everything executed properly. So we just created a Maven archetype based upon a Spring Data project that we had created. Uh, anybody could now use this archetype to quickly uh, get a project configured uh, s almost exactly to our project from the uh, previous tutorial. So until next time, this is Kevin Bowersox from 2ThoughtBlog.